What's up, guys? Okay. Ammo is tight. We all know this. It's hard to get stupid expensive when you can find it. I don't know if you're all like me, but given the current situation, I have not been doing any live fire simply because right now I don't want to expend any ammunition unless I absolutely have to because I know it's going to be very, very hard for me to replace. Hard to replace because it's either, as we just said, hard to find or stupid expensive when you do. What can we do to kind of fill that gap in between? Well, something you should already all be doing anyway as part of your normal routine is something that we can do now. If you haven't been doing it, a better time than now to start. And that is simply doing a regular regimen of dry fire of your guns. It can be every day, it can be every other day, however often you, you want it to be. Now understand the more often you do it, the more benefit you're going to get from it. No, it is not a direct substitute for live fire. However, it's a long established thing um, that I'm sure all of you already know that dry firing on a regular basis has a ton of benefit. So, for those of you that might not, I know it's probably few and far between for most of you that are long-term watchers, but you never know when there might be somebody, somebody new watching. Get your weapon. Make sure it's empty. Verify that it's empty. Don't have any ammunition or magazines with it. Don't even fool with any of those. Not while you're dry firing. Figure out a safe direction wherever you're at so that if you did touch off around, that it would hit something unimportant and hopefully stop and not hurt anybody, right? Seems simple and self-explanatory, but sometimes it needs to be repeated for all of us. Now you can sit here and just dry fire your gun. One of the things I like to do just to work the muscles a little bit and you'd be surprised how much a little bit of isometric work on muscles can can do for you pick you out a target you can even place one if you need to but again in, in a safe direction and then just start and work on coming up and you don't have to do it fast again we're just dry firing and we're trying to work those muscles if you do it slower you get more isometric tension on those muscles. So, we'll come up, get a sight picture, safety off, and squeeze. Here's where people mess up in the dry fire a lot. Hold the trigger to the rear, charge it, get your picture, now practice your reset, okay? When you do a trigger reset, all you're doing is releasing the trigger simply until you hear and or feel that click. You don't have to come all the way off the trigger. I see a lot of people doing that on YouTube, especially guys that should know better and more knowledgeable. Uh, when they're shooting, you'll see them coming completely off the trigger. I don't know if you can see my trigger finger here, but what they'll do is, make sure I'm reset, in live fire. I'm gonna try to keep my arm down so you can see. They'll fire Gun will cycle, and then what they'll do is you'll see their finger come completely off the trigger and then re-engage it. Work on not doing that, right? Reset and fire again. You see how much my finger never come completely off the trigger. Maintain contact with that trigger the whole time. Easy peasy. Set it up again. This also gives you a chance to get a lot of safety manipulations in. Get that hardwired, right? You're getting a lot of repetitions there and a lot of things. You're getting used to moving the gun up on target, off a of target, manipulating your trigger, clearing a malfunction, and manipulating that safety. Do that for however long you want to do it every day. Again, it's not a substitute for live fire. But given where things are at right now, 
It's something we can do every day to keep our skills moving forward. Keep everything pushing ahead. That's all you got to do, guys. Practice dry firing your weapons. Handguns, exactly the same way. You could even take that a step further and if you've got a partner with you, you can have your partner charge the gun, be it rifle or handgun, either one, and all you got to do is have them stand over here where they can reach the charging handle and they can charge it and you ain't got to move the gun. That's really handy with a handgun because you're extended out, they can just charge it you never have to lose your sight picture or anything. You can also do little things, and I am ill prepared and forgot to have one to show you, but take something as simple as an empty shell casing. If you practice on there, set that empty shell casing up top out front here somewhere and practice pulling that trigger without the shell casing falling off. Really, really good with a handgun because you've got a lot more pressure and shorter radius and physics and all that kind of stuff that smart people can tell you about. Empty shell casing doesn't cost you anything, but it adds that extra little bit. You can really see how smooth you're pressing that trigger. So just a little tip, guys. There's a number of different ways you can dry fire. That's just the way I like to do it. Hope that might be of some benefit to you. But as always, the point with this little series, keep moving forward. Do something to continually better yourself in as many different ways as you can as often as you can. So keep moving forward. Keep getting ready. Stay safe. I'll see you later.